This is Josiah Plays Tyranny. And finally we have freed ourselves of the tyranny of the ever-blowing horn. And we are ready to go forth and fight some more dudes. Will do. Call the Faith Miner's head as a trophy. Alright, what we're gonna do is back that ass up. He is gonna cast this buff in the beginning. He's gonna buff himself, she's gonna buff herself, and he's gonna put a energy shield on Beric. Okay. And in go the tanks. Come at me. Alright, Beric's gonna handle these guys in the front. Burst is gonna go straight back here after this blood chanter. Beric is going to immediately iron tolling this guy. Lantry is gonna zap these dudes. Actually, no, he's gonna zap the blood chanter in the back. Seraphina needs to come into a position to sun spear some fools. Not a problem. <laughs> Lantry, electric jolt on the caster. He's gonna run in and attack the guy. <laughs> Eric. He's gonna make sure these guys are nice and taunted. Lantry. He's gonna rhyme spike this fucker. Spear. Blood of the Fallen. Oh, the Chanter's dead. Cool. Let's kill this fucking Scarlet Fury. Scarlet Fury versus Scarlet Fury. Who will win? I, spoiler alert Verse will win. Yeah, no problem, Valence. No problem. Seems like all abilities are useful for everyone, which you like a lot. Yeah, they can be. Or you can dump stuff without totally ruining your character, I think. You can really build your character however you want, depending on what kind of playstyle you want to go for. Health system is also definitely different from PoE. You do not have two types of health in this. You only have one health. And you can heal that health up with spells in combat, and it actually heals you. And when you get out of combat, your health restores back up to full. But, when your health gets really low, you start taking these things called wounds, and they're stacking, and every single wound you take gives you a minus 10% to your max health and a minus 5 to all your skills, which is pretty impairing, until you rest. So you start stacking up wounds, and then your health is lowered, and your skills are all lowered, and you basically suck until you rest. But beyond that, if you keep, if you keep everybody healed up, then they basically have as much health... As, as you want, unlike in Pillars of Eternity, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, all right, what's Lantry doing? Let's fireball some motherfuckers. Let's fireball these motherfuckers. Hmm. All right, let's fireball that motherfucker. I'll take care. All right, she's just gonna attack here. We're gonna actually do a. We're gonna do a blood soaked stone. You also have companion combo abilities. You're, watch this. These two are about to do an ability together. My main character and the companion. Verse did the leg sweep right there and knocked her prone, and then my character does this. Oh, it didn't work. For some reason I, I didn't do the. Oh, because she missed. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway, there's companion abilities. They're cool. Lantry. Actually, let's, um. Healing Wisp on Lantry. I got it.
I'll take that. <laughs> this Scarlet Fury is freaking out over here. Do it for the work. Pay attention, kid. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's like I said. I think it's significantly superior, in my opinion, to Pillars of Eternity. In basically, in basically every way. I'll do it for the work. Seraphina, what you gonna do? We'll do. Everybody on this Pay attention, kids. You might learn something. Oh, life. Let's go ahead and heal we'll ourselves. Do. The moves quickly. We need to hurry inside. Heal Lantry. Oh. Heal Barrett. Just to see if I can get some control life XP. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So, defeated that battle. Will do. I'll be your shadow. Can't do that. Right, I think I've already been up here and looted all this. So now, retreat to the Citadel's interior. The invaders have made it inside the Citadel, fall back into the Citadel's interior, and repel the attackers. So we're about to go in. Oh my god, we're about to finish Act 1, guys. Finally. The inside here is like the final encounter of Act 1, I'm, I think. Uh, that, that'll be amazing. So I'm saving my points so that I can spend two points on on um, quickness. All right, let's save the game right here before I go in. And if the game looks kind of easy to you right now, it's because a I'm only playing on normal difficulty. And B, I finally got my characters kind of specced out and, and figured out how to play them and got some good spells going for them and stuff, so I'm starting to kind of kick some ass now. It looked a lot harder earlier in the game when I was getting my ass kicked. But if I wanted to make it hard, obviously I could play on hard mode or Path of the Damned and make it much, much harder. But I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'm having fun just kind of going through it. I want to kill the enemies outside the fort. What's up, Wansin27? Oh, out here. Good call. I'm glad you said that. I forgot I could go through these gates now. How you doing, Wansin? Yeah, let's go out here and kill some enemies outside the fort. Good call. You know, I kind of want to try something. Okay, Barrick, get over here. Out by your ass. I really want to try a verse versus. Everybody, just get out of the way for a second. I want to see how Verse does by herself. I want to watch her actual tankiness. Count on it. Count on it. All right, so here we go. Watch these misses. Mrs. Verse, Mrs. Verse, Mrs. Verse. Mrs. Verse. Look how many times in a row he's missing her. See? She's amazingly tanky, the way I've got her specced. Mrs. Look how many times in a row. Oh, finally grazed her for six points. Oh, she did she take some damage? She can heal herself, lol. 
All right, set this fucker Count on fire. Me. So Verse is a badass now, the way I've got her spec. She's a badass now. She can. Oh, and she just leveled up too. Very nice. All right, let's let raise her finesse some more. And let's see, what talent am I going to get for her next? What are my options? I could get Born of Blood and Fire. Immune to Mage Fire, Burning, and Bleeding. That's pretty cool. 20% Athletics, Bows, and Dual Wields Experience Gains for all party members. Hmm. That's actually not that good. Oh, I like Improvised Attacks. No recovery penalty for switching weapons. And some more accuracy. I do like that. But do I want some stuff from Duelist? Like, for example... Fury's Rush. Or... Killing Spree. Ooh, Killing Spree is nice. Oh, Know Your Enemy. I want lots of this. Oh, and she's got a taunt here. But she's got to be dual wielding to use that taunt. What else has she got down here? That's pretty nice. Ooh, that's nice too. Sense of weakness. Skull splitter is a bow attack. It does a big stun. Oh! Plus 30 dot. Oh, I gotta have that. Okay, so hold on. We've got to keep going down this nimble tree. So I need six talent points in Skirmisher. Right now I have four in Skirmisher. I need to spend two more points before I can get nimble too. Quebec, what's up? We're still live. That's right. We're not necessarily going for 48 hours, no. But we are over 25 hours now. I mean... It was fun doing the 50 hour Pills of Eternity stream. It was fun, but I don't think I can I don't think I can swing another 50 hour stream. I'm already over 24. Um I'm over 25 now actually. All right, we can get improvised attacks. Her accuracy, ooh, her accuracy is super fucking high now, too. 26 hour hype. One out till you try. Yeah. I mean, for now, I'm still playing. But, I'm telling you right now, it ain't gonna be another Will 50 do. hour stream. Alright, let's go in. Oh, I love Verse so much. She's so much better than she was when I first got her, and she was, like, trying to do wield and shit. Supplies don't need them. Hmm, are there any others out here? Can't do that. Can't I guess do not. That. Okay, we're done. We can go inside now. kind of starting to feel it now. I am. I'm starting to feel it. Starting to feel it a little bit. But I at least wanted to finish Act 1 before I stopped the stream. go inside the citadel don't kill yourself man ah, I won't kill myself blank slate not today 
What, did you miss? Did the Chorus and Disfavor attack him? Yes, I am helping defend the Citadel from the Chorus and Disfavor. I've been killing all kinds of Disfavor and Chorus. I killed Iron Marshal Arenios. Fight your way through the halls of the Citadel and into Ascension Hall. Okay. Oh, is this Tarkus Demos? Oh, it's just an honor card. Fate binder, if you're still in one piece, perhaps you have a chance. The guardsman grips his side, clenching his teeth in pain. We clipped a few of them, but they overran us. They are headed deeper into the keep. I have more confidence in the Scarlet Chorus than these idealists. My rings are on them, all wearing red before long. Okay, Verus, don't be negative. Much as I despise the Chorus, your instincts are on point. How could our last-minute aid make a difference against two established armies in a prolonged conquest? Barak, when did you become such a pragmatist? Shortly after accepting that I would never relieve myself outside of my armor again. Ooh, that's fucking gross. Captain Tarkas is making her stand deeper to the keep at Ascension Hall. But the horde is too numerous. She'll be overrun. Our group here won't be able to make our way back in there. There's too many of them. You'll have to go in ahead. Clear away for us and we'll meet you when we're back on our feet. We're already doing the heavy lifting for this uncoordinated excuse of an army. That sets a shitty precedent by any standard. He offers Verus a severe glare. The Fatebinder has pledged to aid us, but you are under no obligation, Fury. Feel free to return to the chorus at your leisure. Believe me, I'm weighing my options. None of time to audience your every concern, Burrs. Stand down. Objection noted. Can we spill blood already? When you put it like that, yes. I'll see if I can nurse my crew back to fighting shape, but you need to press on. Good luck, Fate Binder. Oh, you weren't here for the horn. Man, the horn was good right. times. Everybody loved the horn, that's for sure. Oh, it's Variah Cow. Remember when I saved her and sent her off here to be our agent instead of her letting her get killed? Here she is. Vendrian Guard weaponry and armor lie here. Chipped, scratched, and scarred, these armaments have proven their efficiency and durability time and time again. Helmet saved my life. Ears are still ringing, but could have been worse. I can't believe I let them get past me. This is all my fart. All my fart? Wow. That's sounds like Barrack's line. All my fault. Could have tried harder. Over here we've got a heavy bronze helmet. Alright, let's talk to Variah Kel. Mariah lurches forward, her left side painted with crimson streaks of dried blood. She strains to speak softly. Fatebinder, I was forced to hold the line with the Vendrian Guard once the Scarlet, Scarlet Chorus broke through. I've been awaiting some sign of how I'm to be of service to you, but I am at a loss. I have chosen to fight alongside the Vendrian Guard. Your loyalty to the Scarlet Chorus is no longer necessary. You've done what? Her outburst, re her outburst reopens a wound and she braces a wall for support. Either you're as much a, a fool as I was wandering into the Scarlet Chorus camp, or the Ventrian Guard might actually stand a chance. Oh, she just gave me a special coif. Here, I found this hidden in one of their caches and I'm in no shape to make any use of it. Thanks, Mariah Kel. See, I got rewarded for saving her life earlier. That's why you gotta sometimes save people's lives. Sometimes they give you magic items later. Can't feel my arm. Fuck! I'm gonna lose it, aren't I? Uh, yes. Is this blood all mine? I can't believe I'm still alive. Dang it. Alright, let's check a look at my loot real quick, so now that we're in a nice, calm, quiet environment. Because I got a bunch of loot here. Oh, I can use the Sigil of Proximate Action now. Spells that generate an aura around the target. 
boom, learned it. And nobleman's hat. Anyone want nobleman's hat? What does it look like. Huh. Okay. Sure. The answer is no. No one wants nobleman's hat. We've got another potion of invisibility. We've got healing potions, big healing potions. And really big healing potions. You know, I'm just going to carry those for right now. Lesser healing potion. In a sec. Blood chancer leathers. Item cannot occupy that slot. What? Oh, wow, those look at that. It's quite an outfit. Um Flash and less pierce. More fire and less frost. Oh, he's gonna wear these. Oh, there we go. He looks kind of cool with those. He looks kind of like a badass. Nightwalker Coif. This helm is heavy to hold, but soft as velvet to the touch. Within the obscurity of the eye slits, imperfections in the metal sparkle like distant stars. That's pretty cool. Deflection, recovery, plus six accuracy. All damage increased by 20% at night. Wow. That's nice. Kinda cool. Got some horde boots. Those are nice. Oh, she's going to wear those. More deflection. Let me burst can equip this. Iron Walker armor. It's heavy armor. What does that look like? Oh, it looks pretty cool. But I'm not going to wear it because none of my people want to use heavy armor. It has no deflection. He would use it, but he can't replace his own armor with... Stone shield gloves. Alright, so we've gone through the loot. Photon Joker. I don't know anything about Bloodborne. I mean, I've watched a little bit of people streaming it. It looks pretty cool, but I've never played it or anything. Do the items have different stats depending on who equips it? No, they don't. Only forward. Yeah, the stats are what would change if it were equipped on said character compared to what they're wearing, exactly. I, bur I burnt the library down too, Photon Joker. I burnt the shit out of that library. Alright. I got a whole new expression, which means I need to see Guidance. Hit precision and graze precision. Ooh, that's nice. 
Create an aura around the target that inspires valor. Allies near the aura receive a bonus to graze and hit precision. That's pretty cool. Let's see what other auras there are. Aura of Decay. Po AoE. Armor and Resolve. Depend. Create an aura of decaying energy around a target. Enemies in the aura receive a stacking penalty to their armor and resolve. Fire Aura. Mantle of Flames. Immune to Frozen. Emitting damage pulses of fire around you. Creates a fiery aura around the target that damages foes and removes Frozen from allies. Some of these spells are so cool. Oh, there's no lightning aura. There's no cold aura. There's no illusion aura. There's a healing aura though! Yeah! Emitting allied AoE, allied AoE health. Radius, pulse rate. 30 seconds. Surround the target with an aura of healing energy. Allies within the field recover health over time. See, I wonder if that actually... I'm not gonna mess with any... Oh, look how many... Look, I have extra spell slots. And I, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to mess with my spells right now because I just, I want to take some time with it and I don't want to do that right now. I want to get through this, this place. My spells are fine for the moment. I mean, obviously I could make new spells and optimize my spells right now and be even better, but I don't need to right at the moment, I don't think. So I'm just not going to it right now. Oh, we got some horde up ahead. I'll stay downwind of our enemies. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, I know. Horde's there. Got it. We've got a Scarlet Chorus Leather Armor and a Broken Helmet. Anybody want this armor? What she's wearing. Looks like a fucking gladiator now. No, I like this other on her better. Citadel Barracks. Oh, well, there's a bunch of enemies up ahead. Okay. Right. Let's be off. Just point me in the right direction. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Do this. You got it. Come at me, grave. You got. It. She's just gonna handle business on her guy in the back there. Eric's gonna get on this dude. Lantry. Gonna get on this dude. Seraphina. I'll do it for the no is gonna roll up to right here. And Sun Lance some guys. And then she's gonna Blood of the Fallen some guys. He's gonna rhyme spike. This motherfucker. He's gonna keep attacking him. He's just gonna keep killing back here. Wow. We just put the fucking wreck on some fools. You're not going anywhere. That worked out well. Uh, certain armor's weapons have intrinsic stats that aren't factored into the stat changes. Um, what do you mean? Oh. Yeah, some armors are better defending against different damage types, yes. Seems like Virus might actually be invincible with the current build. She's pretty fucking badass now. I'm glad this worked out. I mean, I saw this talent. And I thought, I could make a build around this talent. 
the the dodge the dodge to parry talent and i thought you know because she already because she comes with this stance that gives her plus 20 to parry to dodge i mean and you can get a shield that gives you a plus, bunch of plus to dodge plus 24 dodge from the shield and she's got talents that give her more bonuses to dodge and i'm like if she can use dodge as parry and dodge and then you crank everything into dodge and then everything into deflection with a high finesse look at her and her accuracy is 101 she's a fucking beast dude she's a straight up beast turn off party AI. i have party ai completely turned off i micromanage everything i enjoy playing that way though i know a lot of people do not enjoy micromanaging everything and i don't think people need to micromanage everything to play this game at least not on normal difficulty but I like micromanaging, so for me, it's, you know, it's fun to do it that way. Uh, horde boots. That's what she's wearing. Merchant's boots. Hmm. But if I wear these boots, I lose my, I lose my, my leg snake. See, you can see my leg snake tattoo down there. We'll give him the, the lantry. Will do. The fire in the mess hall still burns, and plates and silverware line the tables. This room hasn't seen combat for generations. The Vendrian guard will never be the same after this battle. Oh, more enemies up ahead. Time to lighten my step. Cord bracers. Nobody wants them. She keeps turning off her dodge aura. Oh, that sounds annoying. I wouldn't want her to do that. Mine keeps hers on all the time because I don't have AI. Right. All right, let's... I mean, I want to find out. I want to do a test for science. How invincible is Verse? Especially if I back her up with buffs from other characters but don't actually use anybody Raven else to fight. Ash protects. So let's say I take Verse and I'm going to send her in there by herself. But before she goes in, of course. Lantry's going to cast this on her. She's going to cast her own buff. And I'm going to cast the energy shield you on got her. Alright, Verse. Go whoop some ass. Alright, who? what enemies do we have in here? Alright, she's got to go after the Blood Chanter first. You got See that? Hidden thing. Look at her! This guy just gave up. He's like, fuck it, I can't kill Verse. <laughs> She's even got a self heal as well. Self heal. Count on it. Okay, now she's going to need some support, though. She can't fight all these guys by herself, but... But if I bring... If I bring her in and just stand here and heal her... As long as they don't turn around and start attacking me... Like, if I put Vital Body on her... On it. Sky verse. Kill him, verse. Uh oh. Now we got problems. On it. Why can't I cast any of my heals? Spell casting blocked. 
Oh, cause I'm silenced. Wow. Alright, now I'm getting wrecked. Alright, well, that's probably about enough of this experiment for right now. You got it. Right. How long am I silenced for, seriously? One and a half seconds. Barely the blood chanter. Alright, the blood chanter's down. Pretty cool. Scarlet Fury, Scarlet Fury, Scarlet Fury. I'm on it. You got it. Do. <laughs> All right, fuck these motherfuckers. Let's do this. You and me, verse. You and me. It's pretty damn tough, is the answer. Let's do, uh, let's search the stone on this one. You're not going anywhere. Alright, my main character's starting to have problems. Let's heal. Eric, you can get involved now. Do that. well, that's enough science. Don't you die on me! Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the chat, and I just got destroyed. Well, that's what happens when you do shit for science. Apparently, science sometimes backfires. Lantry, do you wanna maybe get in here and No can do Okay, we got the revive. Me myself for this. Lots of healing has taken place. Will do. All right, everybody, just come over here real quick. All right, Sarah. Why is Seraphina basically face taking these guys? She has mad wounds now. Any wisps on herself. All the heals. I got it. <laughs> All right, now let's start laying down some fucking pain on some motherfuckers. Now that we're done fucking around. At Ready? Fine now. that from the record. She has one taunt that I can get her from a talent, yeah. My armor feels light. Oh, he leveled up. The Scarlet Fury refuses to die. Right. Pay attention, kids. Good. 
Yeah, mocking iron, like Binary said. Level her dodge to insane levels. Science fail. Yeah, Nox. Science fail for real. Gotta have that control group. <laughs> Alright, so it. I just got wrecked. Character has two wounds now. Uh... On the lookout. Vendrine Guard's food supplies are stored here. Most of it is comprised of vegetables grown in the tiers. Ooh, a bronze ingot. An alchemy supplies. Those are things for crafting. I found a little hidden thing in the bricks right here. A cairn's leaf. Cairn's leaf boosts the imbiber's endurance and ability to absorb damage. This fragile plant was often found growing near the Archon of Stone. Now that Cairn is dead, slain by Kairos' edict, alchemists worry that this precious plant will disappear from Teratus, perhaps until the next Archon of Stone is born. All right. We've got some water. Delicious, delicious water. More enemies up ahead. Oh, he leveled up. We're gonna increase his vitality even more. And let's see what we're doing with him. Seasoned veteran two. Another, another engaged enemy. I'd have it no other way. Twisted Iron Sword. Let's do our standard pre-buff. Oh shit. Run Serafina. Run Landry. Run Verse. Run Barret. Okay. I want Verse. Come get on this blood chanter. I want Barrack to tank these two. I want Lantry to last these two with lightning. I want Seraphina to come over here and sun spear these motherfuckers. You come over here and light this bastard on fire. Flash of iron, if that's not what we're doing, keep make sure you keep doing it. Let's cast a fireball right here on these you guys. Lots of fire happening. Now let's chill them out. They're cold, they're hot? Let's cool them down. Oh, he just leveled up. Sweet. Get him some more wits. And... Where are we getting mouse for him? I wouldn't mind getting him some more spell slots. Let's go some sage tree action here. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just get Gifted Healer too. Robert, how you doing? What's going on, Robert? What is happening? Sido! Welcome back, Sido! Made some insane progress whilst you slept? Uh, well, I made some progress. I wouldn't call it insane. Unless you mean insanely slow. So Beric is fighting these dudes. 
Burst is over here kicking this guy's ass. Lantry is gonna fight these dudes. I am gonna cast a blood rain on some guys. I'll do it for the north. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Barrick's actually getting hurt. Let's heal him. Give him vital body. And let's also toss a quick healing wisps on him. And verse. Keep killing this guy. And Landry. Quill strike this guy. Barrick. I got it. Everybody just kill this guy now. Necro, by the way, a dev in Call of Cthulhu's channel confirmed that regarding conquest choices, whatever place you didn't go to, assume the worst out. Yeah, I heard a dev say that in another stream too. Yeah, assume the worst outcome happened in the places you didn't go to. Josai getting all that clickbait too? Oh yeah, I'm all about that clickbait. I'm a clickbait and mug. I'm like Kotaku with my clickbait. I don't even... I don't know about that. Price is right losing horn elemental. Dun 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 dun. Fucking losing right. horn. Seriously. Oh god, there's Can't a lot of motherfuckers that. in here. Slow and this place is full of motherfuckers. This place is more full of motherfuckers than the average sentence uttered by Samuel L. Jackson. Arcane glyphs adorn the scrolls scattered on this table. The penmanship suggests a sage's hand. Though it is written on a crude parchment produced in the valley, a collaboration between two normally separate rebel groups. Oh, we've got a lore thing. A scroll sits here glowing with mystical energy. Read scroll, lurdy lore. Oh, I just learned another sigil. Holy fuck. All right, I'm not even going to look at it right now. Until I go I go, until I finish this act and I decide to go fuck around with all my spells for fucking half an hour or an hour or however long it takes. I'm not even going to look at it right now. I can't do it. I can't do it. Aaron's leaf. Uh, shitty helmets. Nice. Oh, pick a lock. Azure Bell. Grown in the rolling farmlands of Azure, the petals of Azure's bell raise a fighter's finesse and parry. Ooh, parry and finesse and hit deflection. That's nice. Skilled alchemists know to gently bruise the petals of this flower to release their vital juices. Now that Kairos' edict of stone has shattered Azure, it's unclear whether this flower will still grow. Okay, anything else in here? Sorry, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I know there's enemies up ahead. Got it. Lots of enemies up ahead. Horde, Horde, Blood Chanter, Scarlet Fury. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about the fact that I'm gonna level up before I get another chance to train. It won't really make me happy. Okay. Okay, now then, let's talk about handling right. business in this next Raven fight. Raven Ash protects. Of course. All right, pre-buffs. As you So these two motherfuckers are basically invincible right now. Look at that. Ooh, look how many enemies we've got. Look how many enemies. Alright. I want her to go after the Blood Chanter. I want him to basically tank everyone else. I want her... Kill the Blood Chanter. I want him to kill this asshole. Now, Lantry, come on in and join the party with a little electric jolt on these guys. And Serafina, come on in 
And Sun Spear some motherfuckers. Not Thrust, Sun Spear. Sun Spear all these motherfuckers. Hold on, if I adjust my position slightly. That's what we're talking about. That's the Sun Spear I like to see. Can you imagine the piles of one-use items I'll have by the- Oh my god, you don't even- You don't even want to see the end of my 250-hour Pillars of Eternity playthrough. Where I've got ridiculous stacks of enormous amounts of shit in my stash and in my inventory. Ridiculous shit. Yeah, that's how it'll be though, for real. Let's cast the fireball. Keep attacking this guy. Keep attacking this guy. There's the Sun Spear. God, Sun Spear is a sweet ability. Alright, let's heal Verse. Let's give her the vital body. Ooh, somebody just got his ass jibbed. Let's attack this guy. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's, um, let's do Iron Tolling right here together, these two together. And let's electric jolt this motherfucker. Oh my and rhyme spike this motherfucker. And Serafina. Throw a little of this on. No, oh, nobody really needs it actually. Blood of the Fallen! Is this fucker still alive? Seriously? Could you please just kill him? That would be great. No, there we go, she got him. Alright, now let's light this bastard up. We've got a Horde and a Scarlet Fury and a Scarlet Fury. Let's light this Horde up right here. And let's give a little heal, a lantry, and barrack, and taunt some people. Come and face my Fireball. As you come, let's finish this one off. That one right Alright, everybody on this guy next. Smash the pieces! Everybody on this guy. We'll give a little heal. Derek. We'll get this guy over here. She'll light this guy's fire. Wait out, you little shit! We'll do a little heal we'll for the little shit! Smash to pieces! Pay attention, kids! You might look full before me! Landry, he's not actually- he's the way, way least evil, least psychopathic person I've met so far. Unless he has a dark secret that hasn't been revealed yet, which I guess he probably does. So he seems too fucking reasonable and decent to be true so far. Fatebinder, go on ahead! They're in Ascension Hall! Once I can get my footing, I'll track down the other survivors! Learn something. Just jibbed a motherfucker. It jibbed, motherfucker. Small coarse leather armor.
Will do. Slow and steady. That. That. No, wait. I don't want to gather. I don't want to venture forth yet. Not yet. Broken armor. Darn it. Time to lighten my step. This is a cool little place, the Citadel Barracks. I think I'm almost to the end of this place now. I think I'm almost to the end of the act. For really reals. Look at my nice red snake banner. He's normal. He's like Deckard Cain. His favorite, kill everyone, chorus, conscript everyone, Vendrian guard, let me get my footing. <laughs> He wants us to sit a while and listen, basically. Presumably you can kill these wounded guys on the floor if you're so inclined. Alright. Can't do that. So let's go ahead and rest for the lulls. Because we have plenty of time and we have plenty of camping supplies. I love it in the middle of this impending, in this ongoing siege that's happening. I've got time to stop and sleep for eight hours. Don't worry, everybody, wait. Wait, whistle is blown. Whistle is blown. Everybody stop. <laughs> Hold the siege. Stop the battle. I need you all to wait for eight hours. I need to catch some shut eye. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay. Let's do another hard save. Alright. In our next episode, we will proceed into the next area. I'll be your shadow. And presumably... Finish Act 1. Yes! Finally finish Act 1. So, if you're watching my stream, don't worry, I am not stopping. I have now been streaming... For 26 hours. 26 hours. Straight. With no more than a 3 to 5 minute break. And I am not done. I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to keep playing some tyranny. At least one more hour. At least one more hour we're going. But I do need to take a quick break first. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know the drill. That is going to bring us to the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Tyranny.